You're going to love this. Trust me. Yo, Dragon Ball Junkies. Long time no see. It's your boy Josh, the Dragon Ball Junkie, bringing you another Dragon Ball Super Card Game opening video. I know it's been a long time again, guys. I'm sorry, as you can see, I still do be streaming. I'm just doing other stuff, so Dragon Ball has kind of taken a back seat, but I'm never going to just quit the channel. We'll always just occasionally upload for you guys, so always check back and, you know, visit your boy. But I got some premium, boom, premium fifth anniversary set, premium edition. I got two of these. I'm going to open one of them up. This box is already open because I got excited. I wanted to see how it looked when I opened it. And this is what we got. The premium anniversary box. This has three secret rares in it. It has foil arts of all the anniversary edition cards. And it comes with a sick play mat. So we're going to check all this stuff out right now. Let's go. All right, guys. So let's get going on this anniversary box. It is Nationals Day. Nationals is happening right now. And I don't want to miss it. So, let's get into this opening. First, this is the play mat that you get. That thing is nice. It's very simple, but it's got all the areas, including the new Z Energy area, the new Z Deck area. It's got your Unison area. It's got all the new areas to the game. It does not have a warp area, which is odd. I like to put my warp sideways below my drop right here. But it's just got Goku on it. And I was, it seemed like it was bigger than a typical standard mat. Um, it's about the same. It's about the same as this other mat underneath it. So, really cool mat. If there's no glare, we'll just set all the cards on there. Yeah, that'll work. This is the box. This is the anniversary box. I did not get any of the normal anniversary box boxes. But this anniversary box 5 was released... Uh, about a month ago and this is the premium from Bandai premium Bandai this is the one you have to order from premium Bandai so kind of like the uh, collector selections that I got this is similar to that it's like a collector selection anniversary box and the other anniversary box you had one chance you had you got one secret rare in the box and it was either a reprint of Hatchiat Blue Hatchiat, Green Brawly, or Red SS4 Goku. And this one, in the special one, you get all three of those secret rares. And it's an upgraded art. It's a different art than what the other... Those other anniversary box reprint SCRs are now going for like 20 bucks. Um, these ones, for now, for the hype price, these ones are a bit higher. But look, the box has foiling on it. You got Gogeta, Vegito, UI Goku on this side. You got Zamasu here foiling on the box fifth anniversary set you got uh og brawly here and you got toa more vegeto on the bottom you've got the dragon now as with every other anniversary set if you do the normal ones there's four different boxes there's four different sleeves you can get i think that we get all the sleeves in this one all the different sleeve packs i'm not sure about that let's see it says what the contents are right here I don't even want to read all this. This is the other box that comes in. You know. But it's uh, from Bandai. It's got, it's got all the contents right here. I'll show you guys. But we're not going to read it. We're just going to get into it. And see what we get now. We, it's not like a surprise what we're going to get. Maybe there are some packs that are... Randomized. I'm not sure how I open this. Trying to keep the plastic intact, so I think it keeps your uh oh yeah, it's the same as last time. I think it keeps your boxes nicer. Keep them right here. That's odd. There's a whole lot of extra plastic. Like, yeah, my plastic is kind of melted together. Anyway, let's get this open. Looking crisp when it comes out the plastic. Nice. Now I ordered these. I pre-ordered these. They were $80 a piece. I pre-ordered them like three or four months ago. You have to pre-order them. They're limited supply of these ones. Let's 
let's check it out. Now, normally when you get an anniversary box, all you get is right here. <laughs> but in this one, hopefully it's going to fill up a little extra space. All right, we got the Vegito sleeves. So one pack of sleeves. I don't know if you get all four sleeves with this. I'm not sure about that. I don't remember that. But those are the Vegito sleeves. Got Goku and Vegito on there. Nice. You change how the light's pointing. I get all four sleeves. I feel like I feel like it said you get all four sleeve packs to do this, but you do get you get the revision set. Okay, so this is the revision set. These are reprints um, of errated cards. Uh, they're not foil. With the errata on them. These may be random. I'm not sure if these are random, but these are cards we already have. They've just been ratted, and so they reprinted them in this. So Bibbity is the super combo for the Majin Buu deck. It's been ratted. This Hidden Power Satan's been ratted. Full Power Frieza 100% Overdrive is in here. What? I didn't know they reprinted this non-foil in here. That drops the value of this card, and I got a place of these. This is a great card. I huh. wonder what the reprint is. I forget what the reprint is on this one. All right. Catastrophic Blow. Invoker card. Planet Bompa. Planet Tuffle. Dark Brawly. Overwhelming Evil. Majin Quickening. The Higher Dragon Leader. The Dark Brawly Leader. All these decks were broken. The, all the Dark Brawly cards with reprints. So I'm thinking the reprint packs, the revision packs are going to be the same. You just get one of each of all the revision cards. Galactic Buster. Oh, man. But they see, this is a super rare that was a very expensive card that they've reprinted now in a non-foil version. It's not expensive anymore, but it's not an expensive card anyway anymore because when they reprint or when they errated it, it killed the value of the card. It was a great card, but they killed the value of it. But still, that's a super rare. That's a super rare that I never got a play set up. Now I have some. So, um, it was expensive. Mecha Kabor stuff. Videl. Leader. Power Beyond Super Saiyan 2. Ultimate Dark Dragon Slaying Bullet. Number 6 Assemble. Kaioken Sun Goku Decisive Battle. Another Kaioken. Yeah, these are all these Gokus. They... They were they came out with a misprint on them. It was just a simple misprint. The Debora stuff, the Vajex, the new Vege not the new Vajex leader, but a Vajex leader with all the ratas that it's had on it. The new SSG, not the new. I keep saying new. I mean uh the the blue SSG Sun Goku. The Zamasu the Eliminator. Zamasu the Eliminator. This was a sixty dollar card at one point. I got a playset, then they ratted it. Now it's still a valuable card, but now we have a reprinted version. That's pretty good. Actually, this rounds out a playset for me. Now I have a playset for this. Um, SSG Vegeta Crimson Warrior. They hit it before it ever even had a chance. Uh, Majin Buu Tricky Nemesis. Now I have a playset of these. Don't really need them. Ultrasonic Exchange. Sun Goku the long way to rematch. So that's your revision set. Those are all just old cards that have been ratted. You get one of each, and now instead of having to remember they are at it, it's already printed on the card. What else we got? Okay, we're gonna save this for last. You know what this is? We're gonna save that for last. We get Zenkai Booster Pack Premium Edition. Zenkai Booster Pack Premium Edition times two. Well, this is the this is the pack. We're gonna have two foil copies. I believe in the other the other pack you only get one foil or you only get uh two non-foils and then you have a pack that will have like five foils in it but when you buy it this way you get all of them foiled now it's not gold foil it's not gold foil unfortunately um but these are the new cards for the anniversary set these help out old decks so we got hit ready to brawl Red hit, interesting. Pilaf, mechanized partnership, 
Android 18 with Reckless Abandon. I wonder if this has, ooh, the new SS Rose Goku Black Mortals Be Gone. I'll have to check out what that does. I haven't even looked at what these cards do. I haven't played in a while, guys. I've, I've been playing, but I'm really kind of just trying to kind of get lower my collection sell off a bunch of stuff and just get down to where i have like five good decks that i play and i love opening boxes but i'll just open the boxes and turn around and sell the cards you know make videos um i don't need to have thousands of cards around my house anymore. majin boo reshaping regeneration i actually want to read this because this looks like it could be for blue for blue boo deflect unique if your opponent has two or more energy when you play a blue majin boo card with energy costs four more from your energy play this card from your hand it's a 15k with deflect if your leader is a blue majin boo card when this card is ko'd by an opponent's attack or placed in your drop by an opponent's skill play this card from your drop so he comes back that way and then he has activate main limit one if your leader is a blue majin boo card and you discard this card from your hand look it up to seven cards from the top of your deck up to one blue majin boo card with energy cost but four or less among them to your hand place up to one card among them in your drop shuffle your deck seven cards to the top of your deck add up to one majin boo card and it costs four or less place up to one card among them in your drop and then shuffle your deck it lets you set up makes you get your pieces make sure you have what you need in your drop i like this a lot in the blue boo deck i might have to try out blue boo again blue boo blue boo let's go um oh, this goes over here all right what's next bulma fighting for vegeta blue card frieza before the fall interesting we got green frieza stuff green ginyu stuff ginyu captain's responsibility Prince of Destruction, Vegeta, Proud Defiance. I'm assuming that's got Servant. Yeah, that's for Majin Vegeta. Two of those. And we're going to have a play set all foil because I've got two of these. I'm not going to open both because it's the same thing. But I've got two of these. And um, should be able to make a good bit of the money back by selling the extra SCRs that we don't need. I already have SS4 Goku, so I can sell two SS4 Gokus, a Brawly, and a Hat. But, oops, I just spoiled it. I just spoiled it. But, Sun Gohan. In Earth's Defense, is this SH? No, this is Adolescence, Gohan. We got Dispo. Ooh, maybe some Jiren. Maybe we test out old Jiren. Yellow, red Jiren. Huh, interesting. Barrier. I'll read that later. SS3 Go Tanks for the Go Tanks deck. Invincible Fist. That looks cool. It's a nice card. I like that. Hatchiac Sand Exterminator. Black Hatchiac card. Might be generic good. Might be for the hatchet deck. Poutine schemes most wicked. Remember, all these are foil. See how they have like the lines are colored. That's kind of cool, right there. And we got Mass Sand Belligerent Warrior Seven Drop. That looks good. I don't know what it is. Chilled Ruling Through Fear Red Blue card. Wonder if it's for Frieza Clan card. Could be from Mill Frieza. Ooh, blue green Piccolo, three moves ahead. Nice. Blue green ne Namekian stuff, Piccolo stuff. And something more for Cell, as if Cell doesn't have enough. Cell Unending Despair. Another green, yellow Cell A drop. This is the one they said might work with another Cell card, but it doesn't. Um, probably not necessary in the Cell decks. I play. Then we got these two packs. Let's go with these Zenkai packs. Open them up. All right, so what is this? Zenkai Booster Pack Premium Edition. 12 new cards for pack. Uh, number, category, 19 through 27. Blue, yellow, yellow, Z leader, Z leader. Looks like this is all just Z, Z energy, or uh, Z battle cards and Z leader cards. So I don't have a lot of Z cards. I haven't gotten anything from the newest set. So I only have the few two booster boxes worth of zenkai cards from the first zenkai set i don't have any of this new zenkai stuff but hopefully there's some good stuff for blue in here i'm working on blue maybe some good black zenkai cards I don't know. let's see what we get because i don't have nothing for finn either ss gogeta fate facing fierce foes okay so you get one of each maybe i guess um 
SS Khalifla, Tenacious Spirit. That's a blue Z card. Four energy, two Z cards. That both Vegeta is two and one. Uh, looks like black. SS Sun Goku for the mission. Critical, two energy, one Z energy. The leader is a black Goku Zeno. And for every seven black battle cards in your warp, this card gets 5,000 power per turn. That could be good in Finn. So this could be a, a really strong critical in Finn for two energy, one Z energy, not that great. 15K, you know, maybe it's a, it's a really big critical for two energy, basically, is what you're looking at. Really big critical for two energy. I like that. I mean, that, I mean, it's just, there's not a lot of black Z stuff that I know of, so you could just throw that in a, in a Finn deck. You don't get the first effect, but you do get a really big critical. Um, Ultra Instinct Sun Goku Unthinking Onslaught UI Goku is this for what is this for oh it's probably for the UI Goku UI Goku deck the red uh, UI Goku deck nice we got Whis from on high I wonder if this is for ramping stuff the leader is a mono blue Beerus oh mono blue Beerus is apparently doing good in nationals and it's another ramp deck i love blue ramp that's what i'm going to be focused on since i'm trying to narrow it down and just you know ha get rid of a lot of my cards but have good cores you know uh, uh a couple good black deck cores um and then you know uh, some good red cards um maybe a, a blue maybe android 16 deck um, but then i'm gonna have ramp i love ramp so ui goku ss4 vegeta Beerus. I've never tried Beerus. I want to try it out. This looks like a card for Beerus. Though. Frieza, just a warm up. SS Vegito, ready when you are. Super Baby. This is a dual color Zentai card. Super Baby, one parasitic comeuppance. Baby deck, maybe? We have a Z, a Z leader. Nice. I want to try this deck out. This old Vegito deck, I've never, I've never tried it out. I've played against it many times. I know a lot of people like it. It's the one where it gives all your cards different colors. It's a confusing deck. A lot of questions get asked about it. But now there's a new Z leader for it. I might have to check check this out, deck out. Check it out. All right, Son Goku, Awakened by Rage. Is this for Krillin? Is this for Krillin Goku? I don't know. Toa, Unpredicted. Oh, it's not a Z. I thought this was a. I thought this was a Z um, leader for the Toa leader. I was about to get hype. It's not. If your leader is a black Deborah Zeno, I'm not. I'm not really playing Deborah. I'm not really playing Deborah much. Uh, I was wishing this was for a Toa. I do. I do be playing Toa, or Finn. But I don't really play Deborah much. Maybe I'll check it out. Maybe I'll check it out. And then a Zamasu, a yellow Zamasu leader. Now what is this? Goku Black. Send one Zamasu card, one Goku Black. Onto a yellow, the awaken onto a yellow Goku Black. Oh, this is from the le yellow Zamasu from a couple sets ago. I'm guessing. Um, I was hoping it would be for an older Zamasu, like the blue Zamasu, the older um, Tragedy Overground Zamasu, something like that. But that's cool. That's cool. All right, so that's that. We got one more Zenkai Booster Pack Premium Edition. Now, is this the same? Same cards, I think. No, this is different. This is different. So is this always random or? Yeah, this is always random because we got a toe at the back of it. So, and there's no leader in this. The last two, um, the last anniversary sets, they had leaders that one in every four boxes, you would get a special leader. Like the Toa leader, the anniversary. Oh, yes. Now that we have, um, now that we have OG Brawly SCR that we're about to send in a second, I'm going to have to pick up the old... Uh, now, this is Black Brawly, so this is not green. I don't know. We're going to have to look. But then we got Hit, Pursuing Improvement, Z Battle Card, uh, dual color again. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, Brawly, Surpassing Legend. So, so far, these are all new. We did get a Khalifa in the last one. We did get a Khalifa in the last one. But that's a Z Awakening Brawly. Sun Goku for the mission. We got one of these in the last one. Majin Buu. Oh, I play Majin Buu. They got a new. I play green Majin Buu. Um, 
I have it put together right now. I got videos on the channel of this deck. Blue, green, and green Majin Buu. And I play Buu. And I play blue. Old school Majin Buu. But Majin Buu the escape the insatiable. I think I've read this before. I'm not going to read it right now, but we have a new Z Awakener for the green Majin Buu deck. Red, green, brawly. I used to play red, green, brawly too. This is interesting. I'll have to check that out. My red, green, brawly deck. <gasps> Janemba. Z Awaken. I think this is for Crit Nemba though. Yeah, I think this is uh, this is for more like for Crit Nemba. But nice. A Janemba. If your life is worth three or less, place one five star ball in your hand, drop under your leader. You can go on to a Janemba. When this card attacks, draw one card. Resolve your. Yeah, this is for Crit Nimba, uh, which they 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 banned or limited to one one of the cards that made Crit Nimba very strong. I think it would have done some things, but before it even had a chance, before a lot of people were on the bandwagon, they banned the the Janemba that you need for the chain, or they reduced it. You can only run one, so it makes the deck much less consistent, much less destructive. Uh, but now you got a new. Z Awakener for him. That's pretty cool. Uh, another one of the babies. We've got one of those. A Vegito. We already got one of those. Sun Gohan. This is new. Come what may. Sun Goku Awakened by Rage. We've seen that. And the Toa. We've seen that. So those packs are random. Uh, but there's only a certain number of cards. So, you know. So I think it's not too hard to get all of them. But that is all that. Now, last but not least. Last but definitely not least. The creme de la creme. The SCR pack. So this, normally in an anniversary box, you're only going to get one of these. But in these premium anniversary boxes, you get all three of them. And it's random in the other ones. We're going to get all three. I'm going to be very careful with them. And these are going to go straight to sleeves as soon as I turn the camera off. But three secret rares with the premium collector selection art. Look at that gold out there look at all that gold that texture dang so there's the hyper evolution super saiyan sun goku i already have one of these the original one so i'm just gonna sell these then brawly this was like a 600 dollar card now they reprinted it um the original is still very expensive because it's from uh it's from set seven set six and uh, destroyer kings i believe i could be wrong about that but it's a very sought after hard to get secret rare not really used a lot but it's used in the green brawly deck and it is the best scr for that deck and it's a pretty cool secret rare i think it like if you have no cards in your hand or something you have two life it just does a lot of stuff so the brawly we'll keep one of those so we have it and then this is what i'm hype about this is what i got hype about this whole box is for is because i am a blue player i have not been able to play blue for like the past year because i didn't have a hatch yet and i wanted to buy one they're like 250 bucks i'm like i'm not spending 250 bucks on one card well finally the anniversary boxes came out they reprinted hatch yet this was blue's only secret rare option and I didn't have one for a year. I finally got my hands on one right now. This is the first time I finally own a hatch yet. But in the last set, they came out with Kaioken Goku, which is actually uh, arguably a much better choice. You know, they hatch is good probably in some decks. The Kaioken Goku is probably better in most blue decks. But uh, I pulled a Kaioken Goku in the in the previous set, so. I now have the Kaioken Goku and the Hatch Yak, so I can definitely be playing me some blue. So that's awesome. That's it. Those are the three secret rares. Heck yeah. Hey, Dragon Ball Junkies. That's it for this box opening. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please drop this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, you guys can watch the video I got going right here. You can watch the playlist I got going right here. I'll be back 
sometime soon with another video for you. But until next time, I'm out. Peace.